let's have a go at a couple of screens, eh? So first of all, a bit of music. Um, yeah, music's great. You can switch from track to track using that power amp app. I'll try and get a better screen for you. Turn the volume down because it always sounds very loud on any videos I've ever watched anybody else has ever made. It's very annoying. So that's good, isn't it? We like that. Mute button here. Let's mute that. Back to the home screen. And I've got some apps that I put on here. I wanted it nice and clean, so I haven't put much on it. But um, the radio that comes with it is uh, poor in this car something to do with the, the the aerial in the car I think rather than the head unit um, you know so it's it is really awful hardly any reception at all really but I don't think it's the unit's fault um, let me just turn my engine oh no I'll leave the engine on because let me just show you talk app got this up and going set up a little profile for the E39 there uh, took a bit of messing about, but gives me real time stats. Absolutely brill. And the woman also tells me that my engine has reached operating temperature and she reads out any fault codes and tells me what it is. Currently, I have a control valve evaporative mission system something or other. There we go, see, so that's all. It's all nice, isn't it? Yes. Let's scare the dog out there. And it gives me a miles per gallon and everything. Also tells me what's going on with the O2 sensors and all that business. Good. Back to the home screen again. Um, video. Yep. Yeah. Video works good. Uh, I don't think you can scroll through the videos this way, but you can. Yep. And you can whiz forward. Three videos. These are all stored on the USB card that I've got in the glove compartments. And it works quite good. Very good, in fact. Uh, Play Store. And I've got the uh, Maps of Me app, free app, where you can, and GPS, bump tells you straight away where you are, do your search, type in where you want to go, off you go, navigate you there, what more do you want. Um, Bluetooth connects to my phone as soon as I get in the car, and um, I haven't used it for any calls yet, but apparently well, it seems to work great. One call I've, I've taken with it, um, but got cut off straight away, so but nothing to do with the units, just it was a phone call. Um, I've got a screen off thing there, in case you want to drive the screen off, obviously you will want to do that sometime at an app. And um, what else have I got to say? Yes, yeah, so I've got this installed a, a completely new interface on it, it's called Next Launcher, and I really like it. It's lovely. I think I'll, if I can, I can go back to the, I'm not sure if I can go back to the original even. And in your settings here, You've got white eye Bluetooth display brightness doesn't really do much the brightness well it does for nighttime but there's no auto bright which is something a, a red thought it had. Um set it on wallpaper like obviously I've done there. I've got Roberta Mancino there, she's great. Um I don't know what else to say, I'm not very good at doing these things, but there's another unit called the GA5150 out, and um, there's a lot of people done reviews on that. It's the same as this, but it's just a different interface. Uh, Eon On are now starting to make these for all kinds of cars, and um, they're all basically the same. There's a D series that they did, which or not so good and this GA series appears to be much better it's got settings here for where you want your music to play which is quite good you can just drag it around move it to different parts of the car and everything and uh, 
steering wheel works with um, volume up and down and changes your tracks up and down for you when you're on Bluetooth. Um, when you're using that app, I haven't got it to work with the, the music app, but as you see on the music app anyway, it just, you can just change by swiping across the screen anyway, so that's, that's brilliant. I'm happy with that. That's all I want, really, you know. Um, loud, yes, that works, makes it go loud. Uh, Bluetooth, onboard diagnostics. Um, yeah, that's it. It's good. Fits all right. I've got it stuck in literally with a bit of Velcro on either side, and it's going nowhere. It's absolutely solid, and it just sort of sits in place. And I'm really happy with it. I like the colours. Sounds good. Um, connect to Play Store and everything uh, when I'm at home. Uh, I could use my phone Wi-Fi thing, share my Wi-Fi connection with my phone if I wanted to, but I haven't bothered doing that. And um, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, they've got it's got an APK installer for if you wish to install apps that you can't get from the Play Store. They don't work or whatever. You know that's happened with a few. Um, I think the sound one. Let me send you an engine. I think that's really loud. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the. I'm not sure which one. But anyway, if you, you, if you can't install an app through the Play Store, you can find the APK file, quick search on the internet, stick it on your uh, USB disk in your glove compartment or your flash card or whatever. It's got an SD card slot here uh, and one for a GPS up here, a microphone there. Um, yeah, and then you can install via. APK thing. Got an Adobe Reader. Um, I haven't tried that yet, but I do have things to read, so that will be good. I shall have to try that. Probably, hmm. Yes, that's good, isn't it? I'll have a go with that. I'll have a go with that in a minute. I will be reading PDF files on the go. Um, calculator. I've just kept it nice and clean. You know, don't want too much fussiness on there, you're driving, you know, you just want to listen to music and when you stop you might want to you know, watch a video or DVD or anything. I haven't tried a DVD yet. Um, and I use my phone for for uh, everything else. And of course this can be mirrored from your phone, so whatever you're showing on your phone can show on the screen here. Although I haven't tried that properly yet, a quick go, couldn't find any devices the phone said. But you know, I'm, I'm probably doing it wrong, I'm no genius. I'm quite new to smartphones myself anyway, and um, yeah, that's that. Hope this has uh, given you some information, and I hope uh, it helps you make a decision. It took me a long time to make a decision, and so that's for certain. And, uh, but you know, what I had in here, the BMW business unit was awful, and this is just a million times better, and I think it's well worth the money. I really do. Okie doke, it's for now peeps.